Hello guys, this video is specially meant to solve this problem in Office 365. Delivery has failed to these recipient. Now this error is very common in Microsoft Office 365, the entire message. And the actual the error is a bit misleading. So if you look at uh, the error, uh, it is saying that it is uh, not accepted from this IP and the remote server returned this error so this is actually the problem not with the remote server but the problem is with the your email client and the way this email client is set up and the microsoft office 365 this issue is very generic issue and uh, this is the email client outlook client i'm using on the cloud office cloud and uh, this problem has been faced by many people but the solution isn't available over the internet and uh, so uh, i thought let's uh, go ahead and solve it so let me show you how it can be solved so you can log into security.microsoft.com and uh, we need to filter it out anti-spam outbound policy so login and then go to policy and rules and uh, then you will see anti-spam outbound policy so we have to update this anti-spam outbound policy to make sure that the email is getting sent properly and uh, if you look at the automatic forwarding we have to make it on should not be system controlled so let's edit this protection setting so go to the forwarding rules and make it on so once you click on it and uh, save it so this should enable the forwarding so basically there is a default spam check which is stopping it and because of this the emails are not getting sent neither it is getting received in the outlook client so just say you will continue but uh, if you are doing for first time you will get uh, error so we are going to fix that error so this is the error the enable organization customization so basically you have to provide the administrative rights to the admin user so that he can be able to set that setting by default that setting is not enabled so in that case you need to download the powershell so powershell is nothing but a command line interface to the cloud and the microsoft cloud can be managed via this powershell so i am going to show you how you will download the powershell and then you can execute some command in the powershell so i am going to download this powershell software and then going to see how we will install this powershell software and uh, then we can execute uh, those commands so you will able to solve that problem so there are several problems which is uh, coming here and uh, will solve one by one so no worries on this power cell installation this uh, pretty easy so i have installed the power cell and, and then i am going to connect to the exchange online so this this is nothing but connecting to your microsoft uh, exchange online with the email id and password where you want to connect that and set the the rights proper rights so if you just log into the power cell and if you execute that command that is not going to work why because still we have not connected to the server now to fix this issue we need to import exchange module because that exchange module is not installed in this environment power cell environment so that also adds the problem so uh, 
we need to import the exchange module and uh, then we, we are going to execute few more commands so I have already imported a module exchange online management and then I'm going to install exchange online management version so just I will put this commands in the description so you can just go ahead and execute it these are the some steps which are important and uh, once that is done then we need to connect exchange online with the user id which is basically the email id and uh, once we connect it it will ask for a password and uh, once uh, you give the right password so for password it basically pops up your explorer window so there you should uh, enter your password and uh, just uh, authenticate so this is the authentication process so uh, nothing to worry about and just close it down after authentication and then it is going to connect and uh, now you are into that uh, cell where you can execute uh, commands you can see the modules installed and a uh, lot of things so now once uh, those things are done then you can go ahead and uh, okay so just before that you need to do enable organization customization command you need to run that so once that is done then you will able to set up your forwarding in your outlook so now that is getting done it doesn't take much time and uh, it's not very uh, complicated stuff it is very easy to run these commands and if you look at uh, it is saying that configuring web client and a uh, lot of customization it is doing for your Microsoft 365 product one thing I would like to say here is Microsoft Office 365 product is really good and uh, when I was using it for uh, one of my clients so they really felt uh, good with uh, this product so so once that is done so you can execute the other command which was throwing error so that was automatic forwarding where it was showing error now once you have done that you will see this error and uh, this error is like uh, some objects like this object can couldn't be found and uh, to fix this error basically there are some system upgrades which needs to be done so for that you need to reach to the microsoft customer care they are really very good in responding they will immediately respond and they will upgrade and then this problem will get solved and then you will start getting emails and also you'll able to send the emails so guys the error which you saw just now is not applicable always it comes sometimes so for uh, many users with whatever fix we have done with the power cell it should work fine and uh, so let me show you uh, to now send a mail like this is my email id so i am sending a mail from here and uh, it works perfectly fine so th thanks guys for watching this video and if you need any professional help in setting up three office 365 for your organization please reach to us if you face any problems please put that problem in the comment section we will answer that and please like subscribe and share this video so that others also can solve this problem themselves so please